Hi everyone! For this video, I'll talk about some of the things I consider or what goes through my mind when I'm in the process of painting with watercolor. You probably wonder why I do this part in the beginning. As you can see, I add different color washes around using wet on wet technique and the reason I do this is to not only set the overall mood or color scheme but also to guide me when I start building the layers after. So it kind of serves as my base color as well and the subtle hints of color for me is what gives the lighter parts here like the white flowers or white or silver hair uh, more dimension so it doesn't look flat and plain as we know the color surrounding any white surface usually reflects or bounces back on it so it's not actually pure white before i start coloring a painting i usually set the main colors first and for this one, I chose my main colors as green and gold, and my secondary would be red and purple. It's not entirely limited to that, and I work around it in variations. But even if I do this, there are times that I am not completely sure if my color combinations would actually work on paper, since most of the time, it's difficult to correct mistakes in watercolor, and you cannot just paint over mistakes like in oils right so what i do when i am not sure of what color to apply i paint or edit it digitally i scan the line art and apply colors in photoshop or test it out on small paper studies this serves as my guide and for me setting the main colors in my mind allows me to focus on my palette so i can give the piece a more unified look Now, as I build the layers, I pinpoint and fill in the darker areas first, like the shadows, so it's easier for me to paint around the lighter parts after. This also establishes the line work so I could see the detailing more clearly. One of the things you have to know when working with watercolor is controlling the amount of water you apply to get the desired effect you want. For this, I let the base layer completely dry first before adding another layer if I don't want them to mix or blend. And I also get the crisp edges like in the leaves. The rest mostly involves layering until I get the desired effect or contrast that I want. When I work with clothes or different kinds of textile, I research for photos that have the similar fabric so I can see how it's draped um, because different fabrics flow differently on the skin or on the body. The tool here on her arms for example is semi-transparent so I used less pigment and more water so I can achieve that transparency. Then to get the washed out look, I apply the color and feather the edges out with clear water. This gives it the soft edge appearance. I do the same thing with non-organic materials like metal or gold, like the accessory here. It helps to look for materials around your place or image references online so you will have a visual guide, especially since you have to paint them in such a way that it gives the illusion of the object's texture or it makes them look like they have volume. I get this question a lot, like what I use to line my paintings. I actually paint them with watercolor too, because I like them to look subdued and not appear too foreign like if i use colored pencils or pens for example 
I tried it before but I don't know why it didn't work for me because they don't blend in. It could be because of my colored pencils or my paper but if I do the line art uh, with watercolor, they give off a delicate look and a soft touch to it. I hope that makes sense but that's how I generally feel about it. After most of the details have been painted, I assess if there are places that needs to be darkened or lightened, or if I need to draw in more details or finishing touches. That's about it! I hope I was able to help and inspire you to paint with watercolor. If you have any questions or if you want me to talk about a specific topic in my next videos, please leave a comment below. Also, if you like my work and would like to support me, you can subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash margaretmoralesart. From there, you can help me decide on what I will draw next, get discounts on my shop, see more of my behind the scenes or work in progress photos, and learn some helpful tips in watercolor. All the links and materials I use are in the descriptions below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye!